Hey guys, how's it going? JD here from DroneCamps.com. We're here today to go over some software settings in your Phantom 2. We're going to take it to the next level. Many of you guys get your Phantom 2, you take it out of the box. You only really have GPS mode to play around with, but DJI wants it that way for you guys who are beginners. They don't want you to flip into failsafe unintentionally or, or have some other or modes, interactions with your helicopter to cause some sort of a flyaway and that's understandable but if you're a beginner and you've gone to a more of an intermediate mode this video is for you this is going to show you how to put some more modes and more controls into your Phantom 2 so bear with us and we'll go through the software setup and we'll get your Phantom moving and working in IOC manual and fail safe mode if you'd like to make it on a switch we're going to show you how to do that now so stay tuned Okay guys, here's the next step. We want to prep our Phantom for a software interaction. If you have it on inside the house, it's always best to take the props off. It's just a lot safer in case anything does spool up. We learned this from single rotor helicopters back in the day. They'd fly up and hit the ceiling. Um, not going to say that your drone's going to do that, but at least you can save a few fingers along the way. Um, next thing you want to do is take off the camera holder and the lens cap. This way when it initializes it's not going to tear the motors up on the copter or damage your, your brushless motors. So if you want to take off your props, you know it only takes uh, about 30 seconds to pull them all off. So I just spin each one off. Okay guys, here we are, finally to the fun part you've been waiting for. We're going to activate some extra modes in your Phantom 2 that you haven't used before, such as manual flying, fail safe, if you want to add fail safe to a switch, I know a lot of people have been wanting to learn how to do that, so we're going to teach you how to do that. And also the intelligent orientation, uh, two different modes for course lock and home lock. We'll show you how to set those up and which switch it'll go on. So let's go ahead and turn on the transmitter and open up the software. We'll turn on the helicopter. Okay, now we're going to go down, open up the Phantom 2 Assistant. Yes, okay. Now, close that. You're going to notice up in the top right hand corner, it says Phantom. This is where we change to NASA M. If you hover over it, it says change uh, switch to NASA M. So you're going to click that. It's going to ask you a whole bunch of questions if you really want to do this. Yes, we do. Yes, we do, please. Okay. Okay. Now you see IOC is off. Gimbal switch is on. All the battery levels are still the same. Same settings there. Okay, and you have a few new things here. We're going to leave the go home and landing setting the same. You can change this to land directly above where it's at, straight down. Um, that's not so convenient for most people's flying habits. So we'll, we'll go with the go home and land. And on the intelligent orientation control, we're going to go ahead and click that on. And that switch is going to be the S2 switch. So if you look on the transmitter, it'll be over here on the left. And as you switch that down, it's going to show you in the software that it's going to course lock, home lock, back to course lock, and off. Off is going to be the up switch, middle switch, all the way down. Home lock is nice because no matter which way your copter is orientated, left, right, backwards, forwards, it's going to come back if you pull the stick back. It's going to go left or right or forward, depending on which way you, you push the stick. It's always going to stay relative to the home point. Um, and so we'll switch out of that. Now that's set up. All the battery stuff is pretty much the same. You can change this here, uh, but I would leave those the same. 
limits still pretty much the same leave those the same as they were before unless you'd like to extend the max radius to as much as you can some people like to do that okay some people will go ahead and do some of this uh, but we won't go over that today we're just going to keep it simple look through the latest updates and it looks like we are matching up 3.4 for the main controller PC battery and the Zen Muse is up to date so everything is good there now if we go back to our regular mute viewer you'll see that IOC is now on let's go switch back over to basic now we'll go ahead and calibrate the sticks so click start on that and do one stick at a time make sure you hit all your endpoints and go back to center stick now we're going to do the right stick hit all the endpoints all the way out and come back to center and when you're finished click finish okay we are back to center on our sticks everything looks lined up so we're good to go now down here before when you switch this you didn't see any change uh, with your phantom setup so now if you come over to S1 right now we're in GPS so that's position 1 on the S1 switch now if we go to the middle switch it's Addy we go all the way down it's Addy and it also gives us the option to change to fail safe and we can make it into manual mode now don't fly in manual mode unless you're really comfortable with flying quads um, because it'll get pretty wild on you really fast. Um, I almost crashed my 550 when I threw it into manual mode the first time, so I don't really recommend that for uh, intermediate flying or, or especially beginner flying. So I'm going to leave that set to Addy. Um, we we don't really like to use failsafe on a switch. It's not the safest thing in the world. So again, switch one when you start up the copter. Leave it in GPS so it can record its home point. We like to do that, and then later on if you're flying you want to switch into Addy for some more smooth video flying, you can always fly and shoot video in Addy mode. Um, it'll be like the copter is kind of skating on ice, and it'll keep continuing to drift, it'll give you that nice smooth shot. Some people prefer to shoot in GPS, that's fine. So that ends our tutorial on the software setup to go into NASA M and unlock some more settings on your, your Phantom 2. Um, if you'd like to know more tricks and tips, please check out the YouTube channel at Drone Camps RC, and we'll see you out on the field. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.